Listening. You are going to listen to a book program about Robert Louis Stevenson. Hello, and welcome to the book program. I'd like to start by telling you something that happened last night. As I was going to bed, I saw that my son's bedroom light was still on. I knocked on the door and went in. My son was reading in bed. In bed. I complained that it was rather late and that it was time for him to go to sleep. I said he would be tired the next day. My son explained that his book was really exciting and he wouldn't be able to sleep until he had finished it. When I asked him what he was reading, he said, Treasure Island, probably the most popular book by the writer we're looking at today, Robert Louis Stevenson. My guest is Sally Spencer, who's writing a biography of Stevenson. Sally, could you tell us about Stevenson's life? Certainly. It's not surprising that your son enjoyed Treasure Island. It was written in 1883 and has been a bestseller ever since. The author, Robert Louis Stevenson, was born in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1850. As a child, he had health problems and spent a lot of time in bed. In 1867, he went to Edinburgh University to study engineering. However, he was more interested in literature. Stevenson soon told his father that he wanted to be a writer. And what did his father think about that? He was disappointed because he wanted his son to have a respectable profession. He wanted him to be an engineer like him. But he said his son could be a writer if that was what he wanted. Did he start writing immediately? No, he didn't. In 1873, he was very ill and his doctor told him he should go abroad to recuperate. That's why he went to the south of France, where he started to write essays, reviews, and short stories. When did he start writing novels? Well, he wrote his best works, including Treasure Island, Kidnapped, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde between 1880 and 1887. Was he living in Britain during this time? Yes, he lived in Britain until 1887, when his father died. Later, Stevenson and his wife sailed to the South Seas and visited the island of Samoa. The climate there was good for Stevenson's health, and they liked it so much that they decided to live there permanently. Did he ever go back to Scotland? No, he didn't. Stayed in Samoa and continued writing until he died in 1894. Thank you, Sally. I must admit I found Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde ever more exciting than Treasure Island. When my sons read them both, I ask him if he agrees. Now, complete the following sentences. The presenter's son was reading late at night because he wanted to finish reading his book. Sally Spencer is writing a biography for, of Robert Louis Stevenson. At university, Stevenson studied engineering. Stevenson's father would, pre- would have preferred him to be an engineer. Stevenson started writing when he was in the south of France. He wrote Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde while he was living in Britain. Thanks for listening with Nefham. Learn easily and simply.